but a great job by Ben Jenkins. Oh, they are three-wheeling that RTR Mustang, but Ben Jenkins holding his line nicely. He's trying to get up there. Oh, oh big mistake by Jenkins. Epic drive from Banger Dan. Yeah, we're just, um, you know, we're having fun, you know, like we... I didn't even want to scratch this car this weekend and um, it's, um, it was pick on Banger weekend but uh, we're just, yeah, we're just stoked man, you know, um, round one, Terra Tonga was um, a bit of a bummer for us, we, we um, had a big off in practice and bent the chassis which was quite bad and we ended up having to put a new rail in it and um, just going into the top 16 we had a centre of the clutch blowout so um, went to take off from the line and had no clutch and I gave it everything I could. I run over a cone and everyone was like, why did you go the wrong way? And it was, that's the way we were doing it in practice and I thought someone put the cone in the wrong place. So, um, yeah, it was a bummer. I gave it my all and um, hey, we, we qualified reasonably well down there, collected some points. Uh, we come to here, we would we were on form in practice and went into qualifying sun went down track temperatures changed and next minute we had a car that was not doing what we wanted it to do so um, we fell down the ladder a little bit and qualifying and put us in sixth position and right through to the end so i'm just so stoked my team has you know just done an amazing job putting this car refining it making it better um, making it suit me um, the seat position the gear lever position uh, handbrake um, the looks are a big thing for me you know like we come into this weekend and everyone's like man that's the best that car's looked you know and that makes me feel good and and makes me drive good. Slow start the season, accelerating hard into the sweep here at Brooklyn Gully Park round two of the D1 NZ Banger Dan we know how much angle he likes to wind on here comes Dane and Templeman Banger looks like almost over rotating that RTR Mustang may have even put Dane off and powers out of the section wow P1 well Pukakoi man um we uh the weather turned it on this weekend uh you know it's touch and go with this place over the years it's been a lot of wet times and um there's been some really big carnage uh the track was just super difficult this weekend uh you know competing here with um speedworks uh you know the, the circuit cars are running a really um you know they're laying a lot of rubber down on their race line and we're expected to run that out of outer line and when we do the crossover it's just um, the car just wants the wheel stand you know so you set the car up to just glide around the outside and um, next minute you're just hooked up as you do the transition across the track and um, we really struggled with that and um, we worked hard throughout the weekend and we got better and better and and just you know I, I think I always sort of come out in the battles and we start finding a groove and and that's what we did so bit of a bummer that um, that Danon had a spin in the top four and um, that gave us the win and then we pushed really hard in the finals against Liam Burke and yeah he's um, he's been out he was actually part of my crew years ago um, and he learned a lot and and he's he's come a long way so we pushed hard and just I don't think he expected how much ang angle the RTR Mustang's got and um, we just threw it in and I just felt him pump the back. Um, I, he was offline, he was running running the inside uh, from what my um, spotter, spotter said and you know obviously that inside line's really fast around there and when you've got a car like that that just throws the angle on. Um, makes it pretty difficult to slow down. The car's pretty good, like I was a bit worried about scratching it because um, we've spent a lot of time. The car's done a big overhaul over the off season. We, we stripped it back to bare bones, rotisseried it, um, fresh liquor paint and fresh engine, just went over everything. Um, fuel pumps, uh, wiring, the whole nine yards. And um, I really wanted to make it look way different this year and come out with the, the new colors some new wheels and um, just a, a fresh start to the 2020 season. Todunga's Cole Armstrong drew first blood at round one in Invercargill. But it was a one-two finish for the boys from Whangarei taking the top spots at round two, Pukekohe. 
the championship fighters on for the 2020 Drift King title. Join us at Trust Power Bay Park Stadium for round three of the Valvoline D1NZ National Drifting Championship Series. February 28th and 29th, tickets at the gate or online at d1nz.com.